Hi there, I'm Tyler Ballhorn. Welcome to the Stock Scores Market Analysis for March 21st, 2010. Let's get right into the charts by going to the Stock Scores Trading Desk. That's tradingdesk.stockscores.com, a new tool that will soon be part of the normal Stock Scores website. I'm going to jump from the list view, which is what you see here, to the slideshow view of the key sectors that I like to look at each week. These are one year charts of the exchange traded funds that represent some of the important indexes, currencies, and commodities that I like to look at each week. This, of course, is the Dow Diamonds, symbol DIA, and you can see that uh, we had a little bit of weakness on Friday that was followed up today with some comeback strength, and the upward trend line has not been broken yet, and so that's a positive if you are a bull. On Friday, there was a bearish engulfing candle. That means that the high of the day and the low of the day were wider than the previous, and it was bearish because we closed below the low. And that is a sign often that there will be some profit taking in the near term, and I would expect that that may happen. However, until that upward trend line is broken, I wouldn't be too worried about it, and I would continue to be a bull for the Dow 30 stocks. Next chart on our list is the Canadian dollar. The Canadian dollar broke through resistance last week and has since made a little bit of a pullback as the US dollar has strengthened. Today we opened weak but closed strong. You can see this a little bit better if I zoom in on this on a three month chart here. Uh, you can see we opened down there, closed pretty strong at the high of the day. And so I expect that the Canadian dollar continues higher from here and I am a bull on the Canadian dollar. With the weakness in the Canadian dollar that was really caused by strength in the US dollar, and of course strength in the US dollar typically means weakness in commodities like gold, and you can see that gold has made a little bit of a pullback over the last few days. But gold is in a decent bullish pattern. I wouldn't say it's a great one, but we have a uh, head and shoulders pattern forming where we have a shoulder there, a head here, and we're now forming the right shoulder neckline being around like that. If we break through that neckline, we're probably headed back up to the resistance here. However, until the breakout occurs, I wouldn't get too optimistic about gold. The other thing you have to think is that the upside for gold is relatively limited. If it does make a breakout, the upside isn't too significant, and I don't know if the upside potential justifies the risk for the trade. Next chart is crude oil. Crude oil continues to be locked in that long-term consolidation pattern that it's been in for a number of months. There is optimism in that pattern because we have rising bottoms. However, we need to break through that cycle of falling tops at the top of the pattern. Now, if we can break out from this, what we call a pennant pattern, then that would be a positive. We'd probably head higher from there. However, we still don't have that breakout. So I would remain on the neutral side here with a little bit of optimism, but uh, ultimately this appears to be trading range bound for the next little while. This is the NASDAQ 100. It too made a bearish engulfing candle on Friday. Made a great comeback today, likely because of the healthcare news which drove many of the uh, pharmaceutical stocks. Uh, the idea being that with increased healthcare in the United States, more of these companies can sell more of their products and that is a positive. Of course, with many of these stocks listed on NASDAQ that helped this market do well today. It hasn't yet overcome the bearish engulfing candle, but uh, it looks like it might, and so I think you want to remain bullish, but with some caution, I do think that the markets in general are a little bit overextended to the upside. This now is a chart of the S&P 500, very similar to the chart of the NASDAQ. I don't think I'll spend a whole lot of time here. Again, the buyers are in control of this market, but there is probably a need for some profit taking soon and I would be expecting that any day. The TSX 60 has broken through resistance. It's pulled back a little bit since it made that breakout. That's pretty typical, but given the way that the market closed strong today to close above its open, I think that the Canadian market probably continues higher from here as long as the US dollar doesn't get too strong because that of course hurts commodities and the Canadian market is heavily weighted in commodity stocks. This is a chart of the US dollar index. It had a few days of strength on some concerns over in Europe and uh, I think today that strength is probably getting some resistance right there. I wouldn't be surprised to see this market pull back a little farther in the short term but the longer term cycle for the US dollar is up 
and I expect that after consolidating in here for a while we'll ultimately get a breakout on the US dollar as money seems to flow back to this world hegemon currency. Well that has been the stock scores market analysis for March 21st, 2010. For more information on the tools and services offered by Stock Scores, please visit us at www.stockscores.com. Have a great week in the market and trade well.